There's an interesting quote I found this morning by a guy named Paul Sperry. It plays into that um, the clip that I did on uh, "Once a Pickle, Always a Pickle." That uh, once a pickle, once a cucumber is pickled, it becomes a cucumber forever and ever. So this is interesting. The guy said, "Hold on one second." Let the traffic pass. The guy said, "The media elite are now forever part of the deep state." They are complicit in the cover-up of political espionage by the intelligence community. There is no going back for them. Oh, so powerful. I'm going to read it again. I'll read it again. The media elite are now forever part of the deep state. They're one. They are complicit in the cover-up of political espionage by the intelligence community, CIA, FBI. There is no going back for them. Now that's very powerful because the pickle analogy that I made the other day was really about the politicians that go to Washington, D.C. And once they take that money, they're complicit, complicit in the crime, the cover-up, the, the election fraud, the, 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 the quid pro quo, right? How the money flows, right? The money flow. But this guy, Paul Sperry, is that his name? I'll put it, put it back in my pocket. Hold on a second. Paul Sperry is is also pointing out that the, the media is complicit. Now, who's Paul Sperry? I did a little research. I thought to myself, well, who is this guy? It's very insightful. I don't know who he is. I just, I served Twitter once in a while. And so Paul Sperry turns out that he's former D.C. bureau chief for Investors Business Daily. <sighs> Wall Street guy. Right? He's a Wall Street guy. See, Wall Street guys know. They know the complicitness. They know how politics and insider trading work. That the inf how how information affects the market, and how val valuable that information is to get an edge on your competitor, right? To get to get to get a, a better position in the market, whether before they open or whatever. You know you know you know the news. If you know if you know the mind of the CEO of the corporation, right, and you know that you know, you can you can accurately predict which what's going to happen when that news comes out. So, so that's a so the Wall Street guy saying that that the media is complicit is very powerful. So now we have to feel sorry not for CNN's ratings are plummeting, right? CNN they just took another like a, like a thirty percent nosedive in, in ratings. Right? They're choking, right? They're fucking choking. Right? The media elite, not the media. This is media. What I'm doing right here is media, and the people we know and love are media. But, but the the media elite are, are floundering terribly, right? They're going down. And what I want to say is that we have to feel sorry for them. CNN and MSNBC. They're they're complicit. They're complicit in the crime, right? Their, their networks are. And it's likely that people like, and I'm going to say this, it's not conspiratorial at all, but people like Rachel Maddow and Wolf Blitzer and uh, what's that other guy, Anus something? <laughs> I forgot his name. The guy on CNN, you know the guy. Um, <laughs> so, so these guys, these people are are likely prisoners to the establishment, right? This six million dollars a year is, you know, it's helpful to keep their mouth shut. But if they were to ever to roll over and report the real truth, the deep state, who they are complicit with throughout the election frauds, will rain down on them in the most severe way, right? That's what it is, right? The media is, is, they can never go back. Once pickled, they can never go back. So where, so where do we stand? Forward, right? We can always go forward. We can always go forward. It's noisy and windy today, I'm sorry. We can always go forward with new media and a new political regime, right? Right? A media that actually reports 
the news of the people, by the people, and for the people, not just for the corporations and not just for the the uh, power elite. Right? Right, stares at me. It's a news. It's a news. It's news. I'm a reporter. So, uh, put this guy on film because he tries to kill me. So, so anyway, that was, that was a lot. That, that, that was a good quote. That's all I really have today. And, um, my name is Marcus Conti. I'm a candidate for the United States Senate. Why? Because of the things I just talked about. That all the media, current elite media, and current political establishment are complicit, complicit in the deep state's espionage against the people. That's why I'm running the United States Senate. Peace.